Okay, well, good morning. It is going on 8.30 in the morning uh, here on the Eastern Seaboard. I wanted to just <clears throat> provide a quick update video. Uh, we're, we're going to classify this as video number three for our build of the Techno EB410. Uh, the build is coming along quite nicely. Um, we have uh, completed into our steps um, the bulkhead uh, setups. We, we've got our, our diffs all, all done, and uh, it should be noted that my 10-year-old son um, helped, and he actually built uh, two of the, of the diffs. He built the, uh, the, re the excuse me, the front differential and the center uh, drive differential. Um, <clears throat> so uh, for those of you that are out there that are that have young children, um, especially if they have any kind of mechanical inclination, um, they're into building Legos, you know, master builders, so to speak, um, this is definitely something that uh, I would highly recommend, um, you know, for uh, either boys or girls. Um, my son really enjoys it, uh, and he is, uh, he's really taken to it. He does, you do need guidance on some of these things. This is, this is an expert build, um, and, uh, and therefore, uh, it, it is, it's, you're going to want to, you know, make sure that not only you know what you're doing, but that you're watching your children, um, and helping them, uh, in the process. For one thing, it's not cheap. It's not like building Lego uh, cars and ships and things. So uh, a little different animal, but a lot of fun. And he is really enjoying it. He really, uh, you know, uh, jumps up and down and is excited about it. So at any rate, um, we, we got our steering, uh, our steering assembly uh, done. I did not use the stock uh, steering assembly. Uh, we went with um, the uh, Exotech. Uh, block assembly. Um, the one thing that uh, that I did do um, is I installed the stock uh, 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 mounting pins that the um, uh, uh, the the steering the rack pins. Um, I have some titanium ones uh, coming um, that I will I will replace these uh, with the titanium ones. Um, but the the stock steel ones are in there just you know initially. Um, from there, uh, we went to the, uh, the bulkhead, the front bulkhead assembly, um, as you can see, um, and uh, went and built that up, got the, uh, the front bulkhead um, all nice and assembled, um, and uh, it, it works well. Uh, I would highly recommend that you, you go heavy on uh, the grease. Um, they do supply you with enough grease, uh, you know, to um, fill up those, uh, the gears. Uh, you can never have uh, too much when it comes to grease. Grease is, is uh, <laughs> as Travolta said, grease is a word. At um, any rate, uh, we also uh, uh, went ahead and got the, uh, the rear bulkhead um, up and running. Um, that is this assembly. Um, the rear bulkhead, uh, I, I went with, and of course you can see the puck system. Um, it has, uh, uh, the, the out drives, uh, for the puck system. Um, we've got this sway bar, uh, constructed and ready to, to be built. The, uh, the other thing that we, we went with was the carbon fiber shock towers. Um, very thick, uh, carbon fiber shock towers, incredibly rigid. Uh, those were um, manufactured by this company here, uh, Revolution Design, um, and they are quite beefy. Um, decent, not not too bad um, as far as price, uh, but these were these came highly recommended, and they are very large, as you can see, um, very large. Uh, they should prove to be nice and rigid. The other thing that I that I ordered that's coming in is, and I'm not sure about this. I'm I'm, 
I'm thinking about uh, this. I, I, I uh, ordered the aluminum um, uh, fin mounts uh, for this. Uh, however, uh, upon thinking about it, um, I, I, I realized that these here will, will flex. You know, they will flex and uh, provide a little bit of um, impact resistance where the aluminum ones are going to be very rigid. So that may be six of one, half a dozen of the other. I don't know. Um, we'll see. Um, however, uh, we've got the, the rest of the, uh, um, uh, the, the bulkhead, the rear bulkhead uh, finished. Um, and it's, it's coming along well. Um, so the, the bulkhead, uh, rear bulkhead, I have to give a shout out to um, Technel um, as far as their, their manuals go. This, this manual is um, it's, it's fairly decently detailed. Um, there, there's a few things in it that, that uh, you know, kind of are left to uh, mystery. But, you know, once you look at the, at the build, um, it's pretty simple to figure out. Uh, but the, the exploded views are, are done quite well. Um, uh, coming from a graphic design background, uh, professional photographer and such, um, I appreciate uh, good layout, good design. And uh, the, the manual, I have to say, is done reasonably well. It's, uh, it's, it's nice. So um, at any rate, we, we got the sway bar uh, and the bulkhead, the rear bulkhead assembly. Um, we're going to be moving on to the, um, the hub. Uh, the rear hub and CBA uh, assemblies, um, and the sway arms. Um, as you can see, uh, here are the here are the rear uh, one example of the one rear sway arm, um, and it, it's kind of hard to to see or to to experience this, you know, on the uh, the video. However, this is an incredibly chunky, very heavy duty um, sway arm. It is just i mean it's it's really made well um very very rigid um very uh heavy duty even though you know weight wise it's it's you know relatively light but it's very strong very pleased with that um one of the things that we're going to do is install this hinge pin set um and this is an upgrade uh to the hinge pin set it takes it from the uh, and again, this is, uh, this is Exotech, um, the hinge pin set. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Coffee, shops, and toys. <laughs> mm. Ah, gotta have that coffee. One of the things that it does, uh, is it takes it from a three millimeter hole, um, here in the, uh, the sway arm to a three and a half millimeter. So as you can see, on this pin, Let's see if I can get it into focus, that pin there, um, the recessed is a three millimeter and the step up is a 3.5. So it's a nice heavy duty, um, uh, you know, very hard um, uh, yeah, sway bar pin, uh, but you do have to uh, drill it out. Now this, this kit comes with a, a three and a half millimeter drill. Um, however, uh, if you have a reamer um, that will also do the trick um, that actually is a, a three millimeter reamer um, I have a three and a half here somewhere uh, probably in my tool chest um, but that uh, into the uh, uh, the sway arms um, will provide what we need uh, to install the upgraded um, hinge pin set so um, that being said, uh, we are moving forward, and uh, uh, the next uh, next video will detail a little bit more in the build, um, and from uh, coffee shops and toys, I thank you for watching. If you are enjoying these videos, uh, please go ahead, if you're not already subscribed, uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Um, down here uh, below the video and we will go ahead and uh, um, uh, alert you uh, to the next uh, in our series um, and I am looking forward to the uh, uh, the next video and continuing with the build until then from cof coffee shops and toys have a wonderful morning and enjoy your weekend bye for now